Okay, so today I'm going to try to explain how the VWTDI ALH EGR system works. So EGR stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. Let's start at the air box. Before we get into where the EGR valve comes in, the air has to enter the engine. On the Volkswagen, it's very complicated. The air comes in through the air box, gets metered by the mass airflow sensor. Metered? No, it gets sensed by the mass airflow sensor. There's no throttle in here. There's no valve thing that closes to create valve, butterfly valve that closes to create vacuum. It's always wide open throttle. Always wide open. That's the biggest thing you have to get used to with the diesel engine. Did I mention it's a diesel? Anyway, if you found this video, hopefully this is what you're looking for. So between the airbox and the turbo and the engine, it's always wide open. The only time there is a butterfly valve in the, in the EGR valve, that just closes to choke off the engine when you shut down the engine. That's called the anti-shutter valve. It's a little black thing with an arm on the side of here. Don't worry about that. Only comes into play when you shut off the engine, which is not really what we're interested in, is it? So the airbox is wide open to the engine at all times. So therefore, the uh, metering, not the metering, the sensing, metering is like, implies that perhaps it uh, changes the flow or anything. It doesn't. All it does is sense how much air is passing from the airbox into the system. That's what the mass airflow sensor does. It tells the, the computer that, which I like to call the ECU. There's a box here with many wires coming out of it. Where was I? Are we two minutes in already? Holy crap, who's watching this stuff? Anyway, start the airbox. Air's coming in, sensed by the MAF, but who cares? Because you can determine the amount of air coming in to the engine, to the intake manifold, simply by the engine RPM, the speed at which those pistons are going up and down because their displacement is fixed, and the pressure of the air coming in, sensed by the manifold air pressure, sensor the map. The map is built in over here. It's, a, it's in a little bung with two screws or something. Just after the intercooler before the intake. That's where your manifold air pressure sensor is. So if you know the pressure of the air and you know the displacement of your cylinders and you know the speed of the engine, you can easily calculate exactly how much air is going into that engine. So why do we need the mass airflow sensor? Well, the mass airflow sensor lets the... There, there's, this, there's this problem here. There's this extra valve. There's the EGR valve. When it opens, it lets in some gases from the exhaust manifold that happen to pass through an EGR cooler. I just put that in there because most of vehicles in North America have them. So what happens is what would happen if we had some gases coming in here and entering the intake manifold? Well, there'd be less gases coming from this side, from the intercooler, less clean air, because some of the clean air would be replaced with the exhaust air, which is actually pretty clean. It's not, it's, we shouldn't say that. So if some of this air is being replaced with this air, from the exhaust, then the reading here will be lower. Do you understand? So if there was, if you were, if you were reading, and this is an actual number, at idle, you should be reading 16 uh, grams. Was it grams per second? Is it milligrams per second? No, I think it's grams per second on a scan gauge or an OBD2 type tool, or whatever it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's around, it's around 16 grams per second on your OBD2 tools. If you were, well, that's pretty messy. 16 grams per second. That's fine. If you introduce, if you open up this EGR valve, which it will do in a stock form, the ECU opens the valve, it opens up this EGR valve to let in, let's say, 6 
grams per second. Well, now the math sensor will not be reading 16. Can everybody do the math? 16 minus 6. It'll be reading 10 grams per second. When the, ma the ECU sees this drop down to 10 grams per second, the ECU knows that 6 grams per second must be coming through the EGR system. And that's how the ECU determines exactly how much the EGR valve is open. It doesn't sense how far the valve is opened. It doesn't sense, there's no EGR sensor. All it does is look at the drop in the MAF sensor when the EGR is opened. And it subtracts what it is expecting, because it's expecting 16 grams per second, because the ECU is, was programmed by some smart people who figured out the air pressure and the displacement of the cylinders and the speed of the engine will draw in a certain amount of air, right? That's, that's given. You don't need a MAF sensor to determine that. But what the MAF sensor does do is it tells you the difference between what's coming, what should be coming in according to the manifold air pressure sensor, the speed of the engine, and its displacement, which is fixed, and it subtracts with the reading from the MAF sensor, and it gives you the 6 grams per second on the EGR valve. So that is why we can defeat the ECU by simply giving the, twisting the MAF, this comes into my MAF, MAF twist video, look at the other video. If you twist the MAF so that it reads lower at idle, because it's sitting sideways in this thing and there's less air flowing over it, all of a sudden it reads down this 10 grams per second, the ECU will assume the other 6 grams per second are coming in through the EGR valve, even if your EGR is blocked off. Any questions?